is Novella. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're coming from another video or you're already subscribed, welcome back. I'm a licensed cosmetologist turned public accountant who still loves all things beauty. So on this channel, we talk about all things beauty, fragrance, and lifestyle. I'm sure you read the title before you clicked on this video, so you obviously know we're talking about the new Forever Mood fragrances. So Jackie Ina launched four fragrances under her Forever Mood brand, and there's been like so much talk about them online. So we're going to jump right in today. So there's four different fragrances. I think I'm going to start with the pink one because obviously. So the pink bottle is I Am Her. It's red velvet, pear, raspberry, and oud. And each one has kind of like a different like personality. She launched like launch videos with each of them. And each one's supposed to have like a different vibe. So this one says, she is the it girl in every room she enters. Aspirational, effortless, and always approachable. Okay, so I've tested them out before, but I'm just gonna refresh my memory. Okay, so when I tried these out, out of the four, this was probably one of the ones that I liked the most. You definitely get the raspberry, the red velvet. I do get a little bit of pear because there's something kind of juicy about this. And then I guess I get a little bit of oud. I don't think it's a very strong oud. I like this one. I like it. It's it's pretty good. I'll give like my overall thoughts at the end because I do have like just an overall, a few overall thoughts about these fragrances as a whole. Okay, next is Hard to Get, which comes in the yellow bottle. So this one says, this radiant fragrance is made for the one who's hard to get, but easy to love. So I've worn all of these at least once for like a full day because I don't believe in just giving like first impressions. Like, no, I want to know if you've worn it, did it last, all of those things. So this one was like my least favorite out of the bunch. It's lemon, jasmine, and vanilla frosting. So I like the lemon in it, even though I'm typically not a citrus girl. When you first smell this one, it's pretty nice, but there's a note in here that I don't necessarily love. It might be the vanilla frosting, um, but this one was probably my least favorite out of the bunch. Okay, next, You Remind Me. You Remind Me comes in the clear bottle. So this one says, have we met before or was it a past life? Are you a memory or my destiny? So this one is apricot and white florals. It's just like a fresh, clean musk. Pleasant, but it's not anything that we haven't smelled before. So it, it's nice. It's nice, light, if you're like into clean freshies. This one's nice. Okay, last we have NDA, which comes in the purple bottle. And her like synopsis for this one says, what happens here stays here, but first you'll have to sign here. So let's see. Mm. 
So NDA is the most unique out of the bunch, definitely. It's tobacco, flour, spiced rum, and vanilla bean. And this one's pretty nice. Okay, so overall thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts. Okay, so I'll start with the bad and then I'll end off with the good. So I feel like all of these are skin scents. None of them are that strong. Um, from the time you spray it till the time that it kind of like goes away, it's a skin scent. If you're looking for something beast mode, this is not it. Next, they're all nice fragrances, but I don't think that any of them are so unique that we haven't smelled them before. The longevity, you kind of get like a, a medium type of longevity. I wore I Am Her the other day and I think I got like four or five hours. However, like I said, like it wasn't strong at all. Like the whole time that I wore it from the time that I sprayed it to the time that I couldn't smell it anymore. Like it was already just like very soft. Now, the good thing is that everything is not for everybody. And so I will say that I think that Jackie marketed this to a particular demographic. And so I think that all of us thought that since she is a fragrance girly, that it was going to be for the fragrance collectors. But I think more so that Jackie actually wanted to have like a wider range of people that she reached. And so I think this is more so just for like any girl, like any girl, every girl, particularly younger girls, like late teens, early 20s girls who are just starting their collections and these are very like mainstream mass appealing fragrances so I can see how like it looks like she wanted to appeal to more people because I feel like a lot of fragrance collectors on YouTube we prefer like niche beast mode like sometimes weird fragrances that like are not necessarily that mass appealing we love them but it's not a large group of people that might love them. And if your nose is not used to like certain fragrances, you might not be like, oh, that smells great. So I feel like Jackie, all of hers are very mass appealing, which is not a bad thing. So I feel like people really will like this if they're just starting their collection or just starting out with fragrance. Also, another good thing is the price point. So no, it's not that strong. No, it doesn't last that long. However, She's selling individual bottles for only $79, and then you can get the whole Discovery set for $24. Creating fragrance can be very, very expensive, so I don't think that we can really expect a super beast mode fragrance for only $79. So I feel like for the price range that it's in, they're nice fragrances. Do I love them? Not necessarily, but I like them. I also think they will be good layered with things, particularly... You remind me, since it is just like a nice, fresh, clean fragrance, I feel like You Remind Me can like easily be layered with so many different things. If you're looking for something to compare it to, not necessarily like what it smells like, but just like the category that I would put it into, I would put this along like Billie Eilish or Ariana Grande, which are fragrances that people absolutely love. But they definitely are typically like a younger demographic. I also feel like the majority of these, other than NDA, are like spring, summer, light, fluffy, warm weather fragrances. So I'm actually really interested to see if Jackie drops like a fall or winter release, something that's a little stronger, a little darker. Um, I would definitely buy that and be interested to see like what else she puts out next, because I don't think that this is the end. I think this is the beginning of her fragrance creation journey. So definitely excited to see what she puts out next. Unfortunately, these first four were not loves for me. But like I said, they were a like, and I would definitely be willing to try again if she releases some fall or winter fragrances. But I definitely would like something a little more unique, a little stronger, and some fragrances with better projection and longevity. Hopefully you like this review. I was 100% honest. Like I said, I like them but they're not necessarily loves. Super interested to see what else she puts out though. 
Thank you for watching this video. I have a ton of more things coming for you guys. I talked about it in my last video about how I'm doing like a full review of the Louis Vuitton fragrance collection. I'm also going to be talking about multiple BDK fragrances because I've absolutely fallen in love with that house. And then, of course, we're going to do some beauty, some makeup. We have to, you know. But yeah, so those are my thoughts, my honest, unbiased opinion. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you can also check out my other socials in the description box below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.